Hello there guys, it's me and Stable Voltage, and welcome to Fallout 4. I've played about 80 minutes of this game since downloading it. As I said in my sort of preview video, I thought I'd just play it for a little bit just to sort of try and get used to the controls, which are an absolute nightmare, I'll be quite honest about. Uh, but I've played through sort of most of the tutorial. I've got out into the sort of open world, and I I'm going to start again so you guys get to see it from the beginning. Now, remember, as I said in the uh, sort of preview video that I did, this series is going to be spoiler heavy. I'm going to be following the storyline, so that's pretty much unavoidable. And then I'll be basically doing all of the grinding, the side questing, the construction, the crafting, all of that sort of stuff I'll either be doing in my own time or on a stream. If I do it as part of a stream, I will upload it. Uh, so I'm going to start again from the beginning. Now, my rig is a couple of years old now. I do have a... Um, a GTX 770 video card, but the game for me is running on high settings, not ultra, but it's the performance seems to be pretty good. There are definitely some issues within the game though, and I'll talk about them as we encounter them, but let's go ahead and start a new game. So we do want to go ahead and start a new. Again, you might find I have to periodically talk over cutscenes, but I do have the subtitles on. War. War never changes. At least I did have the subtitles on. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid for myself, for my wife, for my infant son, because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war, war never changes. I appreciate that Fallout is set in a sort of alternate history universe but I find it really odd that we're in the year 2077 and everything still looks 1950s war never changes you're gonna knock him dead at the veterans hall tonight hun you think absolutely now get ready and stop hogging the mirror right so here we are. This is the character creation. You can actually play as a male or female. You can play as the husband or the wife. I love some of the little features they put in this game. Like if I was to switch between the two of them. My turn, big guy. And one steps out and one steps in. You can just switch them back. Let me just slide in here. So, we will be playing as the guy. Now, one of the things I really hate in this 
crazy, stupid mouse smoothing. It, it's almost like the mouse pointer is stuck in treacle. Uh, isn't there any way to turn that off in the menu? So it's either going to have to be a mod thing or something in a, an ini file. Let's go ahead and uh, we will sort of edit our look because we don't really want to look like Adrian Brody. Uh, I'm not going to spend a, a massive amount of time going through this because I did um, I did actually go through this when I created my character last night. So I've got a pretty good idea of sort of where I want to go with it. I think I went with um, phase four and you can actually go in and you can actually just drag bits of the face and and Use the mouse to sort of pull them around. Use the mouse wheel to sort of pull them in and out. And cute nose. The, the keyboard controls are a little weird. You can clearly tell that this game was designed for uh, a console. And the sort of keyboard controls were really a, a secondary thought. Which is a little bit of uh, a shame here. Um, what I'm going to do is, let's just get out of this part. I want to go and work on, uh, you're going to let me do it. Click on the hair. Style, there we go. And did find something that was pretty close to me at some point. My hair kind of goes between these two so it's difficult to know which one is best it really depends on how rough a night's sleep i've had mm, given last really night for me let's go with that one because that's pretty much how it is at the moment uh, i never usually get my stubble quite that bad it gets close sometimes but normally i'm more of a lazy morning sure, kind of guy i like the beard um eye color is wrong should be more like that and that's close enough. That's about as much messing around as I'm going to do with the character. It doesn't look like um, Adrian Brody anymore. Uh, my chin is not quite as uh, chiseled. So let's go ahead good. and I do that. So, myself. so we can get out of there now. Uh, you do have a few other things that you can do. So you've got extras. You can do things like markings, blemishes, and scars, and things like that. You can do Never really things that I've been a, uh, a fan of, really. Used to be a way to sort of remove all of the blemishes. Remove all, yeah, there is. We can just get rid of all of those. It does make it you look a little bit more plain, but I don't mind that. Uh, let's get back out of there. And then we can change the body type. Now, I'm not exactly in the peak of physical thickness. I am on the larger side. I'm not a complete chubber, but I'm packing a little extra weight. And I do have some muscle in there somewhere. Yeah, that'll do. I think we're ready to go. As long as I can still squeeze into the power armor. And uh, let's say good enough. Hey, hon. Mm, just getting ready. So now we can go and explore around the house. And as I said, I have played this sort of part of the tutorial and the prologue before. So I'm not really going to, going to go around doing too much exploring. There isn't really a lot of point. There's not much that you can actually do in the house. I mean, yeah, you can look around at stuff and... Abraxo, for all your cleaning needs. You know, you can sort of query stuff and he'll, he'll say some little spiel, but he won't really do an awful lot. There's lots of stuff around here um, that we, uh, we can see. But most of it is stuff that we can't really interact with. I think one of the things we can interact with is our son. But let's not dally around. Let's go and find Codsworth. He's around somewhere. Ah, good morning, sir. Your coffee. 173.5 degree Fahrenheit. Rude to perfection. And today's newspaper just do love Codsworth. Grognak the Barbarian in the Jungle of the Bat Babies. My favorite. Where are you going? Hun. We should take Codsworth to be service soon, don't you think? Just checking, because I was having one issue last night where... I was having an issue last yeah, night where if people experience. were standing behind me, I couldn't hear them talking. Yeah, 
forecast, we have a high of 52 on Monday. Also, there are two stationed overseas or experimenting with some ice control weather as well. Nuka Cola, ice cold. See, we can't actually pick anything up. There's lots of stuff around the house, but we can examine it. We can't really pick anything up. Let's go and find Codsworth. Enjoy your coffee, sir. Can you get that? It's probably that salesman. He comes for you every day. Something that is unquestionable. Good morning. vault calling. And there's another weird thing with the controls, is that it uses uh, W, A, S, and D to move around, which you can't reconfigure, and then it uses the cursor keys for the options for the dialogue, which it probably, again, is from a console, because it's assuming you have a stick and a D-pad or two sticks. vault Tech, remind me again? Why, we're about you, sir, and helping secure your future. You see, vault Tech is the foremost builder of state-of-the-art underground fallout shelters. Vaults, if you will. Luxury accommodations where you can wait out the horrors of nuclear devastation. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. What's so important? Why, nothing less than your entire future. If you haven't noticed, sir, this country has gone to heck in a handbasket. If you'll excuse my language, the big kaboom is... It's inevitable, I'm afraid, and coming sooner than you may think, if you catch my meaning. Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a... Uh, mm -hmm, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. I think it's going to be my sort of, um, my thing throughout this playthrough to try and respond to every dialogue with a question if possible. But there's room for my entire family, right? Of course, of course. Minus your robot, naturally. In fact, you're already cleared for entrance. It's just a matter of verifying some information. Don't want there to be any holdups in the unforeseen event of <laughs> total atomic annihilation. <laughs> Won't take but a moment. Well, there's no question here. Let's go with sarcasm. Now I can't wait for the world to end. <laughs> That's the spirit. Now, let's see. Okay, so here we are, and this is where we do our first bit of character creation. Obviously, we need to give ourselves a name. I'm just going to go with Unstable, because it makes a lot of sense. And um, we want to put that in there. So now we've got 21 spo uh, points to spend, and I've been trying to think about the way to spend them. I, I haven't really got a lot of experience with Fallout games, and I wanted to go for a fairly balanced build. But I do want to make sure that my intelligence, agility, and perception are high. Because first of all, I want to be able to craft guns. Also, get the gunslinger perk as soon as possible. And I do like sniping, so perception is quite useful. So let's go ahead and start off by putting one point in everything. Because we, we want to get everything off the ground. And now I think the build I had the other day, I think I had intelligence up to about 7. Um, I had some extra in perception. I think I had one extra in look, a few in agility. It's nice to get a little bit in strength because it means you can carry more. And I think I had... Maybe I did have another one intelligence. I can't. You do get one opportunity to change this at the end of the tutorial, so you can change it again. And endurance can be quite good as well. Although agility is also useful because it means you can do more stuff in VATS. And I think I will be doing more, more combat using VATS than playing it like an FPS, especially because of the horrible mouse smoothing. It makes more sense to actually use VATS. And I do like the VATS system in this. Uh, so I think I might actually go in and go for the extra point in agility there. Let's Wonderful. go ahead and accept. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? 
For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Sir, Sean has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that paternal affection you seem to be so good at. <laughs> you heard Codsworth. Go on. How are the two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. Hey, how's my little guy? Much better now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. So you will notice there's a little bit of graphical glitching that goes on sometimes. Models that randomly sort of pop in. Um, physics objects like fabric and hair that as the camera focuses on them, one minute they're in one direction, then all of a sudden it changes. It's it's really strange. There are definitely a few bugs. I haven't discovered anything game-breaking yet myself, but it definitely has some uh, some folds that need ironing out. And do what exactly? Sir? Mum? You should come and see this! Codsworth? What's wrong? Where's the door? Ah. Followed by... Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes. Sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost contact with saying? our affiliate stations. We do, oh, we no. do have... We do have coming in. That's, um... Confirmed reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and... Pennsylvania. My God. Oh my God. We, we need to get to the vault now. I've got Sean. Let's go. Okay. So again, there isn't really an awful lot of point in sort of interacting with anything around here. There's not really an awful lot that you can do to interact with anybody anyway. And you can speak to people, but you'll just get some canned response. It's okay. So we'll just basically follow along. See, he speaks to people, nothing really happens. All we're waiting for is let's just get forwards. Follow the waypoints. That's absurd. I am Not on the list. Tech. You don't get in. I'm going in. You can't stop me. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay. I'm reporting this. If you're in the program, step forward. Otherwise, return home. And sometimes lip sync is so terrible it doesn't work at all. We need to get in. We're on the list. Infant, adult male, adult female. Okay, go ahead. Here. Thank you. Good luck, you two, ma'am. Follow me. God Come on. What's going to happen to all those people outside We're doing the gate? Everything we can. Now keep moving. I'm supposed to be following you, but I'm running faster than you, and I'm not Step even sprinting. Come on, dude. In the center. Come on, people. Almost there. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Both of you. We love you too. Oh my god! Now, now! Shut it down now! Hold on! Can't this thing move faster? Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. 